Hello, healers! Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today we have another fun pick a card video and this one is all about your future marriage or even your marriage if you're already married right now, right? So this is all about how will your marriage be, okay? So if there will be some ups and downs, what's going to happen, like some general overview to give you an idea, maybe an energy of something for you to expect or no, and what you can work on and how you can get out of uh, some maybe troubles here, you know? So anything that can help here. And this is for your marriage right now, if you're married, or your future your future marriage. So just anything that can help out here, okay? This is going to be group number one, two, and three. So concentrate on the picture, pause the video if you need to, okay? And focus on the person if you have one. Or if you don't have one, just concentrate, you know, in your future. And uh, you can have the card there for you too. So like always, my details, the cards that I use, a way for you to support this channel, everything will be in the description below. And I hope to add uh, loads of information here, more cards, and I also gonna add the charms as well, okay? Just to add more information, see what else you can get here. If it helps you out in any way, let me know. And uh, consider subscribing if not yet. There are loads of videos here for you. There are live uh, pick a card and live uh, readings as well. I'm trying to add that as much as possible to the channel. So many videos here. I add videos nearly every day to the channel, okay? Different variety of videos bigger cards, a week ahead, yes or no, deck reviews, all kinds of videos here, okay? So consider subscribing if you're not yet. And if you're already subscribed, thanks very much for coming back and for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it that you're here, okay? And again, guys, concentrate on your future marriage or if you are married right now, okay? Just focus on that and choose one of the piles. Again, this is going to be group number one, two, and three. Timestamp below. Thanks for watching. Group number one, if you chose this beautiful card here, how will your marriage life be? We have quite a few cards here, okay? So you have um, a time to give rather than take. New Moon is in Virgo. And uh, communication is key. New Moon in Gemini. Also, we have the Tarot cards, which is the Nine of Cups. King of Cups and uh, the seven of pentacles let's see if i have space here for everything and you also have sing and let me see if you see this and uh, i'll just move here a little bit make sure you can see everything Connect with fire, and we also have uh, longer messages here. I'll read for you in a bit, okay? We have longer messages here. So, it's straight away here, guys, with the tarot cards, okay? We have the Nine of Cups, King of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, okay? So, we also have here some signs, so it could be re regarding you or not. So, you see what takes, takes what resonates, okay? We have uh, the Pisces, we have uh, Libra and Scorpio. We also have Taurus here. Okay, you can see here with the cups that uh, this is going to be an emotional connection. Okay, so there will be a deep bond there, but also very emotional and sometimes uh, dramatic as well. Okay, maybe some dramatic fights and then having to stand up for yourself, say what you want, really what you mean, and then maybe long discussions and going back again, you know, those dramatic fights and that kind of thing that uh, you may need to work together. Maybe you uh, get married young or, you know, that kind of connection that uh, you maybe maybe fast, maybe not young, but also fast, and then you have to grow together, you know, to get out of that dramatic time but then you get to a point where you're really happy with each other you know there's time um to give rather than take and you can see the new moon is in virgo so it could be your sign their sign okay and we also have gemini here so pay attention there to the signs as well and i see here that the time to give rather than take i feel like like i said maybe you you marry young or you fast that you don't know each other very well yet and then it's that uh, adjustment to each other, you know, understanding how to share and, and give rather than take, you know, and communicating very well, because you can see here communication is a key in this relationship. So 
I feel like you will be well in communicating, but you needed to work on that because maybe, like I said, it could be dramatic at some point, you know, like a fight for no reason and until you can you can learn about each other and understand their point of view. Okay, but I see here with the King of Cups that uh, this bond is, is very strong and I feel like it's going to grow, okay? Because in a way you will understand more of each other and then you will be fighting less because you will know more about each other. You will know... Uh, what will trigger some situation and I feel like you will be talking more than fighting there will be some fights maybe in the beginning and then things will come down more okay because I feel like communication is a key and I feel like you will learn about how to communicate with each other very much and I feel like this is a connection that you will be doing things together you know with the seven of uh, pentacles as well I feel like you will be planting things together, seeing things, maybe even have a business together, some kind of uh, situation or something that you do together, okay? Maybe it's a business, maybe it's just a hobby, but you do have things that you do together. You also are that family that go out on camping, you can see here connect with fire, so you would be, you know, maybe it's not something that you like right now, but maybe something that you learn to like, or you just go out, you know, you're just uh, outdoorsy a bit more, and then maybe you, you take time to spend with each other, you know, even if, if you have kids, you will make time for, you know, each other, and uh, even friends as well, having a good connection there when you when you do things together, you know, outside, I feel like, like here, showing like uh, camping, it could be this specifically, but it could be like you, you always make time to go out and do things together. And you can see here sing as well. So I feel like this thing is, you know, that kind of uh, situation where you travel. I feel like you travel a lot and you like singing on a car, traveling, that kind of situation. You know, you do have this connection really beautiful together with the family. I do feel like you have kids. Okay, you will have kids and I feel like you're really connected with, um, with this card here. I know it's not uh, specifically showing here, it could be friends, but I do feel like you could, you could have kids as well, okay? And uh, I really feel like this is a beautiful bond that will grow with time. Like I said, it, it can be a bit um, of an, an adjustment at the beginning, but you do get, uh, you know, to a point where you do things together, you plant things together, you nurture uh, any situation together, you know, whether it's... A business together any ideas any things that you wanted to do you have a goal you do really many things together here okay in this connection which is really beautiful i just wanted to read here as well the the messages okay this is the beautiful side here you chose this one and the message here is life is a series of constantly shifting cycles when we resist change we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress go with the flow you will be surprised where it leads. I feel like this is together with this, uh, these things that you do together, like traveling, like building things together, because there'll be cycles. Like I said, maybe the beginning is a bit of more fights and adjustments, but then you, you go, you move through the cycles together and you grow. I feel like this is a beautiful connection that will really grow together. So for some of you, at least you do get married young, okay? I, I have a feeling, but if not, it could be fast, all right, for some of you. So that's why you need this time of adjustment and growing together. And you will, okay, there will be uh, cycles that you will go together. And remember here, when we resist the change, you know, we resist the natural flow of life. So if you wanted to make sure you go through these situations sooner and rather than, you know, getting stuck in any situation here that you don't like, go with the flow many times here you know in this relationship and you will be able to get to the other side learn the lessons grow together and the other card is here is don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others i feel like this is connected with the communication is a key you know communicating with love and making sure that um, there is no guilt you know you you, you do and you speak with love and you can see you make the decisions because you sat down together and you get to the conclusion of doing something you get not because the other one wants you to you know really communication is a key here so you don't end up doing something that you don't want to see this beautiful cards here and what i will do i'll take some charms here and see what we get as well you know maybe get more information here sorry about the noise guys you know how it is
to someone. Okay, I'll bring it a little bit closer here because I don't have the, the pointy thing here today. We have some letters here, okay? So maybe it could be initials or you can make up a word or something. Your initials, they're initials. Okay, so we do have um, D A C X. We also have here some Irish luck on your side, you know, so it's like you will be able to transform things and uh, have some luck as well on your side. We do have here the, the wedding ring, you can see here. So this is more the the proposal ring in in my charms here. So I feel like that's why I have a feeling like it could have it could be fast, you know, the proposal, the way. So it's, if you see here, there's a little bit of heartbreak here in the beginning, which I feel like it's, it could be with the fights or the way you you get uh, very sensible with uh, the way you communicate. OK, it could it could feel like that a little bit in the beginning. But look here how I feel aligned they are. OK, and you can see here the, the they actually came in the same in the same position exactly here, these dice. And I do feel like you two will be aligned. So when one is hurting, the other one is hurting too. It could be in any situation. So, so you can really help each other to to not just bond and help, but you can really heal each other as well with any situation. But you can see here, the heart here. You know, I feel like the two hearts that could be broke as well, you can together, you can mend, you know, you can help each other. Even if you are hurting it from a different uh, previous relationship or even when you hurt each other you know with fights or things that you don't understand each other sometimes we hurt the person that we, we love as well and i feel like you'll have uh, the situations that you know like i said the ups and downs but you will go through and uh, you know resolve the situations and again here we have uh, one more time uh pisces you know like we do have here as well okay so we have pisces twice here and uh this here is is the sign for Mercury, which is also connected with communication, with the language, you know, using the intellect as well. You know, so maybe there is a need for you guys to, because I feel like there's a lot of emotions, to use a little bit of the intellect, you know, the communication here to resolve things uh, from time to time so you can avoid issues. So there's another sign here, which is the ambitious and it is capricorn okay so capricorn so it could be your sign or their sign we also have another ring here but this ring is the one with the arrow so i feel like you will have goals and you will know where to go as well so i feel like like i said together you'll have those this bond and you'll have like direction goals things that you want to achieve and you'll do many things together there's some kind of transformation for sure and inner strength that you will need to use in this case okay but you will be able to manifest things and I feel like you will see things clearly as well, depending of uh, how you communicate, how you you achieve things together. I feel like over the years, you will be able to see things more clearly and bond a little bit more. And uh, you will be stronger the way you will be growing and evolving here. So I feel like you will get uh, more and more connected and more clear of the way to deal and treat each other the way that you wanted to be with each other, the way you want to communicate. So I feel like this is a beautiful connection that is like a growing process for the two of you. And together you will be able to, you know, to grow and uh, evolve, find goals and uh, do many things together, okay? I feel like this is a beautiful connection. Definitely, like I said, there will be some kind of struggles in the beginning, adjustments, and then together when you communicate when you communicate with love when you take away any drama and just leave the love and the you know communication there being the key you will be able to manifest things together okay and i feel like you will be able to manifest uh, like i said the business together there will be some kind of things that will definitely be growing here together okay you will be planting things together and you will be nurturing things that will grow together here with this relationship I feel like this is a really beautiful one, group one, you know, like, uh, I feel like you grow here very much together and um, evolve here, achieving things, you know, financial and uh, emotional, really beautiful here, growing together. I feel like this is a relationship that you really, really grow older together, guys. You know, this is one of those relationships, not that it's always perfect, but you will get better with time. That's what I see here. Yeah, this is really lovely, group one. This is what I have here for you. 
you know, and uh, just pay attention to the signs as well, the initials, anything that they can resonate. Like always, take what resonates. I hope this helps you out. And let me know, leave me a comment if this resonates in any way, if you already have someone or if you don't have someone. In any case, if it helps at all. And uh, leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. And I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching. Group number two, if you choose this beautiful pile here, how will your marriage life be? We have here the Ten of Swords. Also, what is it? Let me do here. Also, the Death card, the Ace of Swords, and uh, we also have uh, Don't Let Pride Get in Your Way. We also have uh, a new start is coming. Just trying to see here how I will understand it. Get the card here. We have uh, massage. We have uh, nourish your temple. Let me show you see everything. And we also have uh, two longer messages here. I'll read, I'll read for you in a bit, okay? So straight away here, guys, I want to start with the tarot cards, okay? As you can see here, we have the Ten of Swords and the Death card, okay? So I feel like um, this is a situation where it could have been very fast, right? So maybe you you get to know each other and everything is so fast. Like you, you get married really quickly here, maybe even months for some of you. Okay, you don't know each other very well. And you end up hurting each other, okay, at some point. I do feel here that um, there, is, there is a way around here, but there will be a lot of transformation in this relationship, okay? There's a lot of growth here, and there are things that you will have to leave behind. I feel like some of you will leave behind the family, live far from family, and even leave uh, some friends behind us. I, I feel like maybe you move to be together, and... Um, like always, guys, take what resonates, right? So it's really here yeah, my feeling that you will leave things behind to be together. It's like a rebuilding. And uh, it's like a death and rebirth, okay, for you. So you really leave things behind. You cut away. Maybe some of you could have the family against at some point, And then you, you, you get back together and, and they accept at some point, but maybe not straight away. You know, guys... Um, it's just what is coming here for me, right? With the death and rebirth here, I feel like, you know, the death card for me represents leaving something behind and restarting. So it could be you two restarting the life together. It could be in the long run that at some point you do end up um, uh, getting separated at some point, but then back together, okay? I do feel like it could have been some kind of separation at some point. Maybe because you're, you're working apart. Maybe because you really have issues and break up and have to get back together okay for some of you right so i feel like there is really um uh, something that you really sit down and decided to really restart there is like a reset point in this connection at some point with this death card so i feel like you really ha have to resolve things sit down talk really be clear of what you want and i feel like you to decide like uh, really with your mind you know, with your emotions, with your love, you feel like you decide again. Like with the Ace of Swords, you have that um, door, that idea of how you can rebuild and then you go through it. So that's why I feel like there could be even separation at some point for some of you. Or like I said, living far, working uh, far as well, like from uh, each other and having to stay separated. You know, maybe one is in a different country at some point. This, this kind of, you know, leaving something behind at some point. Okay, but there is this connection back again because you do have, I feel the Ace of Swords here showing like, you know, that door again showing, not, but not without uh, some sacrifice and leaving some things behind. Okay, so it could have been a really deep, uh, it's, this is a really deep, strong love here because you endure a few different things. Okay, it's not just one thing. I feel like it goes through a couple of things. It could be uh, some issues in the beginning because I feel like it could be fast for some of you even if it's not like it could maybe it's the case of the family something like that in the beginning and then you go again halfway maybe through the marriage days or, or, or maybe like some years later 
you do have this issue with each other or because you you live in a part or you, there is some kind of separation at some point and then get that getting back okay i feel like there is a sitting down a proper conversation here that they will have and you two decide like rationally you know is the best things for you two to be together okay and uh, i see here this represented here as well you know don't let pride get in your way okay full, full moon is in leo so maybe some of you well you know could be leo as well so just uh, remember that could be the sign but uh, remember here we also have uh, scorpio and uh, gemini represented here okay but uh, don't, don't let pride get in your way. It's really important here because I feel like that's one of the reasons of the issues you will have to deal with. And when you finally let go of this pride, okay, both sides, okay, in this case, then you will finally rationalize things and take away any drama and, uh, you know, decide to restart because you do have here a new start is coming in, in this new moon. So you, I do feel like connected with the ace here is when you start again and things have really a different uh, approach you really change here you grow as well maybe whoever had had any childish behaviors is left behind you do overcome something really important here okay and then you move to really take care of the two of you okay you can see here with massage with nourish your temple i feel like you will take care of each other you will take care of yourself as well you will learn that you need to take care of yourself to be able to take care of others like the nourishing your temple and with this massage here i feel like you will have uh, give time to the other you know giving massages having time for each other i feel like maybe that's what you didn't have here in the beginning until you go through this process of transformation this leaving behind this death and rebirth okay there is something that i think you change completely here the way you approach things you approach each other you started to value more each other and then you'll be able to uh, continue in in a different completely different approach of course there is still Situation that they will deal, need to deal, sitting down, uh, talking, but I feel like it's a different approach you have to each other. You give more value, you know, to each other here. It's really interesting. And we do have here, this is the, the card that you chose was this one. And the, the message is close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So I feel like that's when you have this beautiful approach here of really accepting that you're changing, that you're growing and you want to be together. And then you, you allow joy to come back to the, your life. And you do have here this transformation, which again is very, very fitting here with the, the death card, right? Transformation. Your relationship with, uh, with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. That's perfect. So... And this is the one, uh, you know, really connected here because that's why I feel like whatever you go through, guys, you will come out the other way because this transformation will just deepen the love and will show here that love conquers and transforms all things. You do go through some hard thing, situations here, okay? Uh, and um, But the most important thing is you do come out the other way. You transform and it, the love will deepen. So that's why I feel like you will have time for each other this massage is just representing like you know even giving massage to each other but in a way like you give time to each other you you value the time together i feel like it it really transformed into something really beautiful and uh what i wanted to see here is the charms as well so i just wanted to add some charms here okay guys just to to add on here to the reading sorry for all the noise you know how they are Closer. just some letters here so it could be initials you know your initials their initials anything like that so o y e q just to see if there's any other letter no but you can see here the marriage is here okay so it will it will continue with the marriage we do have a, a cancer sign here as well just in case if it helps in any way you can see here the big butterfly is here guys really showing that transformation that uh you know with the with the death card here death and rebirth guys you know with the death card so i feel like there will be hard work you know here with the spider hard work put into this connection 
but you will see the sun you know you will see the light out of you know at the end of the tunnel you will be able to see here i feel like this is a deep beautiful transformation things will move at some point it will move slow but they will okay you will see things rolling away and you will have some luck as well on your side okay and you're really uh, gonna have some bond here emotional connection more than before okay you will also have some angels okay higher powers helping you out especially doing this change and transformation here with each other so we do have angels here helping you out and you do you can see here with the flower i feel like i feel like after you know this harder periods you do like i say value more each other value the time with each other and you do uh, give like maybe receive or give flowers you know like i say here massages the simple things that will help this bond you know to to grow but uh, it is an important thing as well like uh, christmas time okay winter time will be important even if you don't celebrate christmas specifically winter will be important for you so there will be some kind of situation or time that you bond more or the time that you will uh, you know grow together so definitely you will you will hold on to this person okay it, it can be like i said that you, you have this separation this situation that you're apart for some time but you do get back together okay and um you, you will have a, um, a way to support each other okay you, nothing will like it you're not gonna be missing like uh, you will have money you have means to support each other but definitely here it's a big transformation okay because i have loads of butterflies in this in these charms and this is actually the biggest one so you actually got the biggest butterfly and i do feel like it's because of this transformation it's really an important thing that happens to the to the two of you you know it's like a, it's a big transformation both sides and then you you grow you decide to stay together and grow together which is really beautiful you like you make the decision to stay together and then the love will finally deepen you know like this card here says that uh, um your relationship with one another is about to deepen so love conquers and transforms all things so it will it does deepen and transform things once you decide okay it's really interesting here guys like i said um the, it is some hardship at the beginning there are things you will have to conquer together but once you decide, like I said, it could be this period of separation, death and rebirth, rebirth, leaving things behind, but it will make the decision to be together. And when you do, things will transform in a way that you will be really happy together. And I feel like then there's nothing that can break you anymore because I feel like the worst, you would have gone through the worst together, you know, and then the transformation is beautiful because you'll deepen this love. That's what I see here for your group too. Like I said, it's not the, like the easiest, maybe in the beginning or even in even some years, you know, but you will have this beautiful transformation that will be worth, okay, staying together and you will really be happy to look back and looking back and knowing that you two decided to be together after all. Beautiful transformation, not the easiest, but you will come out the other side much more wise and and grown up and uh, really happy you will be happy with the decision to stay together that's what i see here group two let me know if you're resonating anyway so pay attention to the charms as well the initials the zodiac signs that came out here and see if it helps out and resonating anyway do let me know leave me a comment you know i'm always happy to hear from you and as always i wish you a lovely blessed and healing day thanks for watching Group number three, if you choose this beautiful card here, how will your marriage life be? We do have here the two of cups, the ten of wands, also the, the word. We also have um, the fury climax approach, the full moon in Aries also work through your fears and we also have here drink tea and uh, soak in a bath lovely and we do have uh, two messages here and i read for you in a bit okay which it's i read the full message but you can see here soulmate and balance wow 
beautiful here group three straight away here with the two of cups okay you can see here the sign for uh, the cancer sign okay we also have uh, sagittarius here twice so it's very interesting here with the two of cups you can see that bond okay is that the uh, connection really emotional here fulfilling each other helping each other it's like a real real bond here from the beginning i feel like this is one of these relationships that you know straight away from the beginning you're meant to be together okay doesn't matter how early or late in life you meet this you know you have a feeling both of you is very strong you can't deny okay that you're supposed to be together even if maybe you had someone already in the past maybe anybody any of you that would have someone that would finish the relationship when you meet each other everything changes okay it's like this beautiful big transformation here like this fire, fiery uh climax approach so i feel like this is something like really deep straight away you know and there is no denial okay both sides it's not just one here both sides okay and you can see here walk through your fears and the new moon is, is is scorpio okay so just pay attention to the signs here that are coming out so maybe the connected with the one of you and the, there will be some fears okay in the beginning because maybe this here will happen in a way that you didn't expect maybe like i said some of you could have already another relationship when you meet or you you wouldn't even be thinking about having someone at all you would be happy single you know and then you meet this person it could be some some situations here that you really, really will take you um you know out of your reality and uh, really shake you okay this connection and you cause some fears as well so the beginning um could have been um fast for some of you and um because it's very fiery but also you can't deny that you needed to be together okay and uh, this is a beautiful connection you get married and all but this is a connection that will continue like uh, it's strong but in a way it will it will get at some point that uh, you'll feel one of you will feel or maybe both of you are feeling at some point that uh, you're taking too much you're doing too much on the relationship i do feel like you could have kids as well so maybe one of you um you know taking care of the kids and uh, feeling like uh, it's hard maybe to take care of the kids and work as well trying to balance things okay and there will be cycles in this relationship that you will need to close okay you needed to work hard ask help of uh, to each other okay you needed to ask help when you need help here because there will be some period that i do feel like you do have kids more than one for sure because you do need the help to balance everything you know and at, at points at some points we'll, we'll feel like it's too much and uh, it's hard but you don't give up right you just ask help and you connect with each other again and you have this beautiful way of um, pushing through and getting to the next level and then you will you will close cycles you know the kids grow you will keep you keep moving and then you see that you are moving through the fears moving through any obstacles that will come together okay and i feel like the more you learn with each other more you understand that you need to take time for each other and you need to take time for yourself okay like you can see here soak in a bath drink tea like having time for each other and having time for yourself you know to recharge recharge is going to be very important i do feel like you work very hard here together you you may have a job and kids and um, both of you working or one of you full time at home but i mean it's busy okay i do feel like this life here is very busy but the connection this two of cups here it's here holding the two of you together okay but and you go through many cycles together growing okay remember to ask uh, help to each other okay because this you you will be carrying some heavy things at at, uh, at some point you know like you will be caring too much and uh, but is that extra push that uh, you do connect again help each other and then you move through situations okay so i don't feel like it's gonna be busy guys for for the the two of you but really a beautiful connection that they will know that you need to stop leave everything and just drink tea together and just sit down and talk because that bond of that emotional bond connected together is always there
with the two of cups okay it's like it, the, the base of the relationship is the, this beautiful bond here so you will have time to to for yourself because i feel like you you will learn not straight away though i feel like you, you will learn with time okay that you do need to take time for yourself and take time for each other and uh, really recharge recharge is really really important here for this connection and uh, you will okay you will go through many cycles and really grow in here i feel like um, you really need to always go back to that connection that you have from the beginning i feel like you always sit down at the end of the day even if it was a hard day a busy day you'll be able to connect and talk and maybe have like i said a tea together coffee together a meal together at the end of the day that you will connect again this this two of cups is really beautiful here i really am drawn to this two of cups like a base of this connection okay always communicating with love always going back to this emotional connection why you're there why you're together you understand why you're in this position and you're happy with this and as busy as it could be at times you will know that you you're building something together and you're happy about that and you can see here with these two cards balance okay you can see here love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it a great relationship is one that both supports and and challenges and again i feel like this really connected with the ten of wands here and like having to carry that load and not just agreeing with everything but asking for help growing together supporting each other through the challenges okay both of you that's why i feel like you'll always be this balance okay even if it, if at a point you know one of or the other will feel like it's getting out of balance i feel like this two of cups again the connection is a balance there brings that back okay balance for really really important that's why i feel like you could be really busy and tired but then you know that and then you take time for yourself take time for a bath take time for you know to be together and then recharge again together and then you can continue you know and this is the the card that you chose you know this here the front card that you chose is actually the soulmate so this is the beautiful soulmate connection here guys your soulmate is already with you in spirit believe this and they will manifest physically so this is a physical manifestation of the soulmate here in this connection okay guys so if you're ready with this person know that they're your soulmate if you're not yet you know that this soulmate will manifest okay guys for you this in your marriage is going to be a soulmate connection so that's a beautiful connection i do feel like you're growing together here you're learning with each other but you're always there for each other that's why i feel like when you meet here from the beginning you know you're meant to be together because this soulmate bond it's really really strong here i do want you to throw some charms here as well guys so sorry about the noise here just mixing here for you okay Just to bring a bit closer you can see here we are on the side of the moon so you know that uh, the emotions you know it's the intuition is very important in this relationship to learn you know to know when the other one is hurting when the other one needs your help to reach out and connect okay we do have some initials here maybe you know if it helps you out and connect it is l uh, j d v n o okay so just to let you know if it helps in any way we do have a libra here and that balance okay so it could be a sign but it could be the fact that you do always bring this balance back in the relationship okay so balance again with this card here very much connected with this one here okay the libra but you do have this uh, balance that you bring back to the to the relationship we also have capricorn here and ambitious okay capricorn here we also have protected okay so this relationship is protected you know soulmate connected connection really beautiful protected okay for sure here because here the marriage ring is here so this is a strong connection and this is that uh, important light at the end of the tunnel you know so you could be going through some tunnels so to some difficulties here together but it will always come out of that you can see here this is also the here in my charms is the proposal ring so you do have uh, both of them so that's why i feel like for some of you it's fast because you can see here proposal and the marriage ring is together is when things are a bit fast and you do have um, 
the ring with the direction so you will have goals you will achieve things you will know where you're going and you're going together okay and um you will be manifesting things okay winter is very important okay you can see here christmas is important maybe celebrate that very much very very much you see winter time spending time together spending time with family even if you don't celebrate christmas okay it's just like spending time together with the family winter time is going to be very important and lots of inner strength, okay? And you come out of difficult situations together. You cut away things that don't serve. Just keep moving, okay? You don't stop to look back, okay? There is some kind of faith as well with uh, with uh, you guys. Okay, definitely protected. Remember that. Yeah, this is a lovely connection here, guys. As you can see here, the balance is important, okay? For this connection to, to flow, for things to move. But uh, remember as well the, the signs here in case it's your signs or their sign, okay? And the initials as well. So let me know, guys, if, if you see here you're connecting with you. But that's normally what I see here, guys. You know, like I said, some hard work, okay, will be put on this connection. I do feel like you do have kids. Maybe some of you don't want kids, okay, guys? Just like always take what resonates. I do feel some of you will have kids and uh, it's a busy connection. That's why recharging at the end of the day or on the weekend is really important for you so you do remember that and bring that balance back okay and i feel like you communicate very well because you have this soulmate connection and you know you will know when the, the other one needs help and you reach out okay but don't forget that you can always ask for help as well when you need but there will be loads of cycles okay you'll be growing together there are loads of cycles you close like like that's why i feel like you go through the cycle of being busy with small kids you go through the cycle of kids in school and uh, working and the uh, balance the the career and family life so i feel like this is a busy connection but it's a beautiful one because the soulmate connection you will always know that you need to bring the balance back and you connect again with this two of cups like i said maybe at the end of the day maybe at the end of the weekend or even once a month whenever you know when each other needs some of that recharge and it will be recharging and growing together here i feel like this is a really beautiful connection guys like i said it's a soulmate connection you will know from the beginning this is the one okay and you have no doubt here and you always look back and you know that you're in the right place okay with the right person which is really beautiful it's always like a very secure connection here really really secure have no doubt here of where the other one is with their feelings with everything so you're gonna go you're gonna work through any fears together that's what i have here for your group three let me know if this resonates and help you out in any way if you connected with uh, any of the signs or the initials the, the letters anything here let me know you know i'm always happy to hear from you and as always i wish you a lovely blessed and healing day thanks for watching